Well, hey, everybody. I want to set this video up just a little bit. The guy that you see in the blue shirt, that is, that's Larry Bowler. And that's a group of people that he did an interview with. Well, I'm going to play it and um, let you hear just a little bit of it. Whatever, to give the people hope, to say, hey, we got this, you know? So uh, in a minute, we're going to see that the White Hats are winning. And that's why that's the real reason we have this war in, in going on. We can go past that one. Uh, all right. So here's where we're at. Basically, we're winning. The White Hats are winning. But <laughs> before it's over, it has to get worse. It has to get really terrible. We have to have the financial collapse. That's absolutely going to be the only way that the people of the world are going to wake up in significant numbers, be willing to take the truck back, uh, and to be willing to do what they have to do to get our to get our, our freedom. So, uh, if the truth gets out, we're done. We have to lock them down and shut them up once and for all. That's what's going on. So let's move on, and we'll see how they're doing that. So here's where they're panicking. Their their plan to divide us isn't working as well as it was. People are beginning to wake up. Their plan to silence us has taken them into a point of desperation, and I'll point out in a minute. They're absolutely going to attempt to take over all freedom of speech. They want to financially collapse us so that they can come back in and says, we can fix it. So what's 9-11, what's, what's this picture of the jail down there got to do with January 6th? It has to do with the fact that on January I'm sorry, on 9-11, when the Patriot Act was passed, something something happened that was very significant, a foreshadow that goes back to the installation of Hitler as the, 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 uh, the leader of, of, of Germany, was that he burnt down the parliament and he blamed it on, on a communist. They were Nazis. And what happened is the Enabling Act was passed and that gave him dictatorial rights for a period of six months he never gave up that power never. and became, became the ruler of Germany and took us into World War II. So well, Larry has a lot of good information, and I'm going to have links in this video that you can find his information. He's working on putting up a channel. He's working on, uh, I think he's on his second book, and God has already gave him a third book. So his, all his links will be in the description. So just check out the description and you'll be able to find it. But I'm going to play just a little more and then I'm going to cut it off. Well, something similar, almost identical, happened on 9-11. The Patriot Act was passed by a bipartisan agreement at 3.45 in the morning. George Bush Jr. pulled it and replaced it with one written by the global financial elite. Our leaders in Washington signed it without ever reading it, and one of the heinous clauses in it said this, that any any American who commits a crime, any crime, even a misdemeanor, can be declared a terrorist and can be stripped of his U.S. citizenry, can be, can be incarcerated without due course, without a lawyer, and without a trial. And guess what? It's, the courts upheld that. And that is why we have people rotting in prison right now because they dared to protest on January the 6th. Trump said, go protest in peace, and those people are in jail because of the Patriot Act. So what that tells us is every time they do one of these wars or one of these things, they put more, more, they usurp our Constitution more and put more things into it that do what? Allow them to create a legal dictatorship. So one of the other things that they did under one of these circumstances is they created something even more heinous than that. It is called the continuity of government. And what it says is that in a national emergency declared solely upon the discretion of the setting president, the president, just like what they did with the Enabling Act, is hereby authorized to take control of all state, local, federal, and tribal governments. He can take care of all manufacturing and distribution, and if so deemed necessary, confiscate all financial instruments. Wow. All right, I'll get you some more information on this subject later, and where you can see the whole video. There'll be a link in the description box for that. So 
you, you want to watch this. If this information resonates with you, keep checking back with me and uh, like my channel, subscribe, <laughs> leave a comment. And uh, if, in the comments section, yeah, let's talk about this. Why is this allowed to happen? All right. Thank you all for watching my channel. Appreciate it.